Happy Tuesday, friends. Well, I am in a new location. This is the Jesuit Retreat Center in Barrington, Illinois. And I am here at a retreat with pastors from all over the country. And we have had just incredible speakers the last couple of days. And the person that really drew me here, her name is Ruth Haley Barton. Maybe you've heard her, maybe you've read some of her books, but she really teaches a lot about the Sabbath and sabbatical and rest. And I get to have this amazing gift from Eastview to take a sabbatical starting in October. And so I just wanted to come and learn from this masterful teacher on the importance of resting. And so uh, I get to enjoy some of this and share it with you today. Um, but I, again, I wanna dig into this passage that Tommy Pollitz preached from on Sunday from John 11 and talk about um, just examples of living in fear. And I'll just get personal, you know, thinking about a sabbatical and being away for an extended period of time. There's just this fear in me that maybe Eastby will forget me. Maybe Eastby will decide, oh, we don't need her. What did she do anyway? Um, and sometimes our fear can be irrational. In fact, there's a study from Yale that they did that only 8% of our fears actually ever come to pass. And so in this story, um, this is happening right after Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead and many people believed and the religious people were afraid. They said, because of this miracle, everyone's going to believe in Jesus. And now we're afraid that the Romans are gonna do something to us. They're gonna tear down our temples. And our fear can make us make crazy decisions. And so really after that, Jesus had to go into hiding because the religious leaders were plotting how they were gonna kill him. And so um, my question for you today is, what are you afraid of? Are there fears in your life that are just compounding and um, just taking you to really scary places? And the reality is following Jesus always leads us to scary places. But what it, would it mean for you to be present in the presence? Let me say that again. What would it mean for you to be present with the presence? To really be still and know that God is God. And in the Old Testament, part of that just meant breathing. And even the name of God, Yahweh, was like a breath to them. So every time the, the Israelites breathed, they thought of their God. They remembered God. And so I want to encourage you today to think about your breath like this. When you inhale... Think, when I am afraid, and when you exhale, I will rest in you. Inhale, when I am afraid, and exhale, I will think of you, God. Because we do have fears, but we can rest in God. And it's important to come to these beautiful places and rest every week, that gift of rest and Sabbath. So find something today that gives you joy that you can replace those fears with joys in your life. Have a great Tuesday.